Well, I'm sending this early because maybe you want to use part of this for your devotion around the Thanksgiving table. Thanksgiving appears 28 times in the King James Version, six of which appear nine, uh, six times in the New Testament and eight times in the book of Psalms. Uh, one of the Psalms that speaks about Thanksgiving is found in Psalm 95 two. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. You may want to read two or three psalms and give thanks to God before you have your meal. And then we looked at the word thanks. The word thanks appears 73 times in the King James Bible, 37 times in the New Testament out of the 73 and 22 times in the book of Psalms. So in the book of Psalms you have 22 opportunities to look at thanks. I selected one from the New Testament, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. In everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. In everything, good and bad, knowing that God is on his throne and he's sovereign, knowing that God's going to work all things together for good for those that love him and are called according to his purpose. Yes, in everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And close to the end of the Bible, we have a passage in the book of Revelation. It's a book of Revelation because it's going to be the future. And we'll be able to give thanks, as it says in Revelation 11:17. We give you thanks, O Lord God, the Almighty, who are, who were, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. <laughs> yes, at the end of the book we win. Uh, he's going to take control and he's going to use his great power to begin his reign. Yes, I'm looking forward to his coming again and the fact that his reign will then begin and we can just give thanks because he is faithful who promised. Yes, let me say it again. For he is faithful who promised. God bless you and have a happy Thanksgiving. Sin is anything that's displeasing to God. All of us are guilty. There's written, there's none that's righteous, not even one. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. And if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus was raised from the dead, we shall be saved. For with a mouth man confesses, and with a heart he believes. And whoever believes and calls on the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved.